careful understanding of factors such as ship type, trading patterns, mooring forces expected to be encountered, ship interface, etc. This needs to be considered in determining the most suitable mooring line configuration. A vessel operating in ports exposed to swell should pay extra attention to sufficient elasticity of lines. Mooring lines should be selected by engaging with rope manufacturers to ensure the correct lines and tails are selected for the required application on the vessels. Ensure that the line meets the same elasticity. Ideally, all mooring lines have same characteristics, but as a minimum, lines in the same service. For example, all breast lines should have the same elasticity. Mixed mooring should not be used for the same application. For lines with a lot of elasticity, such as nylon, consider including snapback protection. This test shows the difference. This is how the open structure rope reacts. The covered line reduces the snapback, so less risks for the crew. For lines with less elasticity, Wires or HMSF mooring tails should be used to avoid shock loading of lines. Ensure that the line meets the strength requirements. The line should comply with the MBL, the minimum braking load, given in the mooring arrangement plan, within a range of 100 to 105%. On tankers, under OCIMF rules, the mooring line MBL is referred to as the LDBF, Line Design Braking Force. Ensure that the rope diameter is as per specs. As with several layers on the drum of a designated winch, the diameters other than the original ones will have an impact on the holding power of the winch. A maximum number of layers may be marked on the drum flange. The diameter of replacement lines is also important with regards to its ratio to the diameter of fitting surfaces. The diameter of fittings is preferably 10 times larger than the diameter of the line, or as specified by the line manufacturer, as it also depends on whether it's a wire or synthetic mooring line. If tails need to be ordered, ensure that the tail meets the same elasticity of other tails especially tails for the mooring lines in the same service. Ensure that the tail meets the minimum braking load or line design braking force. It is crucial that the tail is stronger than the mooring line. Ensure you specify the maximum length, normally 11 or 22 meters, depending on minimum distance from fair leads to bollards or hooks. Otherwise, the connection between the mooring line and tail ends up in the fair lead. For installing new mooring lines and tails, follow the instructions of your line supplier. Only mooring lines that are installed in a proper manner result in a safe, reliable and durable mooring operation. Some basic rules. Ensure clean and smooth surfaces Install the rope running off via a turntable. Install with proper pre-tension.